rainy, cold day back at the junkyard. So today we're looking for some F body parts. So it's uh, the F body and the G bodies are all next to each other. And they're all the way on the other side of the yard. Someone did ask if there was imports in this yard. And there is. They got a fair share. I, I come out here for some Honda stuff. Uh, you'll find some H series, some F series. Um, you're gonna find, you might find a Holy Grail every once in a while, but they do got your Honda stuff. Then always, I'll pick it back up when we get on the other side of the yard. Oh, there is an RSX. You never, you never know what they're gonna have out here. All right, so we made it to where the F bodies are. Old Cadillac, take a peek in it. I don't know how to tell between the 500 and the 472, and I think what is the next one, like a 425? But old big body. And then this Le Mans always trips me out. I'm a, I love these cars. No front end on it. See, I get distracted easy. So I did notice last video I was moving pretty fast. I'll try to pay attention to that this time. But these are usually if you're looking for the Holy Grail of G body, these are like the body style. Most of the time you're gonna find aluminum radiator support sim. But anyways, let's get back to the F body stuff. Um I need an antenna like that. I need a non-power antenna. These cars are notorious for the power antennas going out. As you can see, this one's missing it. And uh, probably someone did the same thing. My His power antenna went out and they came in and took it. And we're looking for a dash. I, I know I'm not gonna find a non-crack dash. That is not the goal. The goal is to find one not as cracked. <laughs> um, Cause I am gonna fiberglass it and flock it. And I'll show y'all what that looks like. Um, but that is the goal. So figured if this junkyard is not gonna have one, and probably none of them. Someone's probably took this one. So, anyways, I'm going to walk around here and try to find a dash and hopefully find something. <coughs> Mine's in a bunch of pieces. Uh, I could probably fiberglass it, but I'm trying to, uh, find one a little bit better that's the goal and it has to be uh, not the square style like this it needs to be like the rounded ones so they're expensive they're like four hundred dollars new one and this is is this gonna crack again <laughs> so I'm not about that life <laughs> so we do got uh, a great assortment of antennas so I definitely won't have a problem getting that so I am excited about that. And I'll just put a stubby on it. But at least I don't have to worry about that again because my goal is with my car, I'm starting to put it back together. And, and I want to finish that area. It's kind of starting from the back forward. And so we got plenty of antennas to choose from. I rock Z, that used to be a car. Anyways, let me pull an antenna and I'll show you the aftermath and then we'll do a little 10 minute clip it of uh, 
is walking around. We'll, we'll do the F bodies. This yard has plenty, and I don't want to do the whole thing uh, and like skim over something. So we'll just like choose each platform and try to go in detail what they have here. Alrighty. All right, coming to the back of the yard, looking at more F bodies. I see gold. Let's see what heads are on it. Looks like number seven heads. Like the head might have been removed or somebody started doing something. Head bolts out, valve covers out. Let's try to. I was playing around with it, so let me see if we can't figure it out. We're trying to figure, identify it. So on those mobiles, they'll put like a casting here. It is a, a dual barrel, but kind of cool if it was a. Yeah, I think it's a 350. Usually the um the 403s will have a uh, 403 stamp there and then 307s have 307. No, they have 5.0, sorry. Uh so pretty sure it's the 350. Only low compression. Well no 70 seven heads aren't bad. So it'd probably have been a hot ride for his day. I mean for a 70 car, probably 250, 260 horsepower, I would guess. But anyways, I want to show you all that. It's a four-door car. I don't know much about this type. Is it a cutlass? Looks like it is. Let's see the tail lights. Oh, so it's a... F oh, wow. So it's like a 70 four-door. See, I didn't know that. Four-door throws me off. Let's see what the interior looks like. I always wait till I find a raccoon or something. Says hey back to me. Sure enough, a cutlass though. All right, let's move on to the next one. Still looking for a dash. I got plenty of candidates for a antenna. All right, picking back up. I just saw this car. Y'all might have seen me. I, I told y'all I was here for F bodies, but man, I just love these unique bot cars, Buick O's, Pontiac. If you had to see for Cadillac. I don't know what that is. We'll go look at that next. Uh, I'm going to guess. Omega? Is that what it is? Let's see if we can't find a badge or something. Oh, it's pretty, pretty gutted. I don't know. Someone tell me what this is. Maybe something on the other side? Let's see. Maybe. No, I don't have a clue. What is this Pontiac here though? <laughs> looks like it would be a hot rod, right? I mean, it looks light, short. See, he's badging on it. It's like what, like Pontiac's version of like a, oh, I've seen this front end before. Tempest? I've seen that front end. This one's cool too. I'd rather have this front end. It has to be the same car. Ooh, we got lettering. Let's see. Oh, I can't, I can't tell what that would say. I don't know. Cool car though. If I won the lottery, I would have one in Arsenal. I'm just wondering the nose rust. I was gonna say the way this paint looked, looked like it might have been like a aluminum finish. People don't know, GM did a lot of aluminum in the uh, 70s, 80s, trying to get the cars lighter or better fuel economy. Oh, look, a Holly carburetor. I bet that's unique. Valve cover's weird. A four cylinder? Surely. Looks like an inline four. Gigantic starter. Thing's bigger than engine almost. Look at this. Oh, AC compressors are standard. 
opal. They're always cool. It's crazy I never got much traction that I ever seen from me coming up. Oh yeah, but that was fun back in the day. Anyways, try to keep this video around uh oh around taillights. Squirrel, right? But yeah, um get distracted when I look at these old cars. Try to keep this video around 15 minutes. That's a YouTube algorithm thing. Helps the video gets put out. Helps me not give too much content so I can keep coming back and sharing stuff. This engine's is a small block Chevy. It just looks little bitty though. I know it is, has to be. Has to be. What type of car is this? This is a four door. Nova. Guarantee it. Yeah, this is four. This is a sorry, it's a two door Nova. And the engine looks small without the intake. Something throwing off my, my eyes. Too cool. Let's see what the lights look like. Oh yeah, classic Nova. They're not my favorite, but I do respect them. Here's another Nova. Some race car. I would love to have this as a rolling chassis. I would think. I always like station wagons too. Station wagons always got cool upgrades. That's what made them so cool because they're like sleeper. Kind of, you know, you get the bigger rear ends, you get the upgraded brakes. You usually get a bigger, bigger engine, get some type tow package, better transmissions. And line six. Okay. As I, like I said, I need to keep the videos around 15, 20 minutes. And every time I come out here, I'll make a video. Oh, this car's cool. Opal, of course. We got a tiller out here. This is what's up. Like in the El Camino. <laughs> take it, take that and put a Harbor Freight engine on it. Call it a day. I wonder what engine is this? Another small block Chevy. Has to by the manifolds, right? What else? What else? What else? Back to the F bodies. So last week we were on that side. Just in, we just kind of walked this line. And you see, we haven't even did like three or four lines. And I'm fixing a break. A 15 minute mark. What else? 71 Nova. They have a lot more Novas than I thought. As the last video, when that cash for clunkers came through, it wiped this place out. And it, it it got horrible to come here for a while. Now I just want to walk around. Oh, it's a nice rally room. I don't see the brothers and sisters. Ooh, got a dash it ain't no that's pretty trash but yeah so i started off the video over here as you see i do a i don't know much about cadillacs other than you know they're fancy and you get nice stuff especially if you know how to interchange some stuff we'll come out here and look at them at another time a nash that's cool Let's see if we can't open the door and maybe i found a friend here we go. I love it. Suicide door. All right. Let's see. Too cool. Yep, yeah, we got an engine. Let's see if we can pop the hood. Flathead. Definitely don't know much about them, but do know what they look like. 
I worked on some Chrysler flatheads. Um, not, I don't even know what this would be. I don't know, don't know how to tell the difference. But uh, and I just did stuff like points and carburetor cleaning and stuff like that just to keep keep it running. Let's see. Do a walk around just in case. Something nifty. Oldsmobile. See what heads are on it. Oh, I can't tell. Let's go to the other side. Usually the number is forward on the driver's side. It's like, is that an eight or a three? Oh, it's like an eight. So if I recall correctly, that would be pretty much a smog motor 350. Or could it be a three or four or three? Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can't see that better. It's pretty black and nasty. No, I can't tell. Some more Cadillacs. All right, all right, yeah, we're, we're, we're hitting the time. I'll pick up once I pull my, see, another squirrel moment. Look at this, for another day, for another day. We'll end it off here. I'm gonna pull my antenna, do a sweep for a dash. It is sprinkling. Um, and let me get this stuff and get out of here. It is cold too. Let me zoom out here. Audio might not be that well. So here's the, here's the results. We got a tail light. What plan on getting this? Two antennas, cause two different styles. Uh, just wanted options. I needed this. I was gonna pull this out my spare Trans Am, but uh, you, this was just laying in a seat. And I'm glad I went ahead and pulled this because I would absolutely destroyed one of my cars to get this out this was an absolute pain in the butt luckily the dash was almost fully out of the car and it was destroyed already so it didn't bother me but this piece here it goes through the firewall to connect to the engine that's the one there anyway just want to show y'all what i got and i'm getting out of this rain <laughs>